Hello everyone, my name is Carla and today I'm sharing with you a tutorial video kung paano magsimulang magbenta at kumita sa Shopee. Ang video na ito ay applicable sa mga aspiring individual sellers residing in the Philippines. Ano muna ang story behind this video? Ganito yun. Follower ako ng Peso Sense, yung page na nagsishare ng knowledge about financial literacy. Over a week ago, may nabasa akong Facebook post sa Peso Sense page. Post siya from a sender asking for ideas kung paano i-level up ang online business niya by joining shopping sites like Lazada and Shopee. And dahil seller ako ng Shopee, Nagpost ako ng comment about the basic steps kung paano siya makapag-start sa Shopee. From there, ang dami kong na-receive ng comments sa post ko, friend request and message request. Majority of them, na-replyan ko naman pero hindi lahat. Kaya, naisipan kong gawa na lang ng tutorial video para isahan na lang at the same time. Viewers may also share para naman may iba pang matuto at malay natin ay maging successful someday. Disclaimer muna po tayo. Una, hindi po ito paid advertisement ni Shopee. Pangalawa, small time seller pa lang ako. If I'm not mistaken, I started September 2018. So, 5 months pa lang ako with Shopee. Pero I consider myself as a happy Shopee seller. Yung mga guidelines na ibibigay ko ay base sa mga napagdaanan at natutunan ko rin. Lastly, first tutorial video ko ito kaya pagpasensyahan nyo na kung maraming flaws. Beginner level pa lang po tayo. So that's it. We can now move on to our topic. Paano nga ba magsimula at seller sa Shopee? I prepared 12 steps pero in line with the steps are procedures and explanation. Okay, let's go to step number one. Mag-isip ng mga produkto na gusto mong ibenta sa Shopee. Very basic yan kasi kailangan mo muna talaga ng produkto para may maibenta ka. Pwede kahit ano, wag lang yung mga bawal like explosives, prohibit, prohibited drugs, at syempre yung mga hindi transmittable or hindi pwedeng ship ni courier. So, hindi po allowed ang mga sasakyan and house and lot. Meron kayong two options. Number one, pwedeng sarili nyong gawa ang mga produkto tulad ng mga kadila, homemade crafts like sa case ko, mga wooden alkansya ang mga main products namin. Yun na rin ang mga unang pinus ko sa Shopee. And option number two, Galing sa supplier tulad ng mga damit or gadgets, hanap ka ng mga mas mura para makapag-compete ka sa price. So, tip lang, huwag kayong umorder ng mga products sa Shopee para i din sa Shopee. Kasi mas magiging mataas ang presyo mo dahil papatungan mo pa ng tubo at ang tendency is hindi na magiging competitive ang price mo. We now go to step number 2. Kailangan ng bank account under sa seller's name mismo. Ito lang kasi ang way para ma-encash mo lahat ng kikitain mo sa Shopee. Kaya kung wala ka pang bank account, go to your nearest bank and open an account. Maski yung ATM account na muna to start para di ganun kalaki ang required na opening or maintaining balance. Step number 3. Prepare mo muna ang mga to. Number 1. An active mobile and email address. This is for signing up with Shopee and for notification purposes. Number two, isipin mo na kung ano ang gusto mong maging pangalan ng shop mo sa Shopee. Number three, pumili na ng courier service provider like LBC, JRS Express, Black Arrow. I highly suggest na itanong mo na sa prefer mong courier kung ano ang mga rates nila para makalculate mo rin kung magkano ang magiging shipping fee ng mga products mo. And lastly, number four, social media accounts. This is for advertising. 
Once nakakomplay ka na sa first three steps, ready ka na to be a Shopee seller. So, we move now to step number four. Download and install the Shopee application. Go to Play Store kung Android ang phone mo and App Store naman kung iOS. I-type mo lang ang Shopee sa search bar and download. Step number five. Launch the Shopee app and create your Shopee account. Pagbukas ng app, heto ang makikita mo sa screen. Click mo lang ang sign up button. Upon clicking the sign up button, heto ang mag appear sa screen. Just type in your mobile number and click continue. May marireceive kang verification code. Enter mo lang para ma-verify ang phone number mo. Next is sign up with email or connect with Facebook. I suggest that you sign up with email para ma-verify na rin ang email address mo. In signing up, you need to enter the username and password and upload a profile photo. Uh, tip uli, sa username, I recommend na yung prefer mong shop's name ang ilagay mo dahil yun na rin ang gagamitin mong link for your shop. Example, kung ilalagay mong username is ABC Online Shop, ang magiging link ng shop mo is shopee.ph slash ABC Online Shop. So, let's go to step number 6. Log into your account and familiarize Shopee's interface. Pag login nyo, heto ang homepage ni Shopee. May mga icons or buttons ang homepage. Yung mga binilugan kong part sa itaas like search bar and cart plus sa ibaba na home, feed, and more. Sa buyer po yan. Kaya di ko na po i-discuss. Dito tayo sa icons sa homepage na gagamitin bilang seller. Pa-refer na lang sa mga binilugan ko. Sa upper right corner is yung chats. Dito lahat papasok ang mga incoming and outgoing messages mo from Shopee. And number two, sa lower right naman is yung notifications kung saan mo mababasa lahat ng notifications na isisend sa'yo ni Shopee. At yung me or me button para makavisit ka sa iyong selling page. Let's proceed to step number seven. Complete your profile. Um, click mo lang yung me button at lalabas itong page. Click the gear icon sa upper left corner, yung may arrow. At lalabas ang account settings. Sa first three, te se three settings na lang tayo mag-focus dahil ito yung mga importante for sellers. Click my profile. Under my profile, you have to add or edit some basic information like your Profile photo, background photo, password, gender, birthday, phone number, email address, and social media accounts. Yung username hindi na pwedeng mapalitan, permanent na po siya. Next is my addresses. You need to add an address or addresses here. Just click on the add new address, type your name and cell phone number. Kumpletuhin mo rin from house number straight up to zip code. Better kung may landmark or maski yung color ng gate nyo kasi importante po ang information sa address. Basically, ang ilalagay mong address is the delivery address in case may order ka from Shopee as a buyer. Sa part naman ng seller, mas importante siya. Bakit? Kasi you need to set up or you need to set a pick up and return address. Dito i-pick up ng courier ang mga orders mo for shipment. And also, dito na rin ibabalik ng courier ang mga shipments for return to you in case of field deliveries. Kung ilalagay mo lang is barangay, let's say, barangay A, Quezon City, Metro Manila, baka mahirapan ng rider na ilocate ang address mo. So, meron tayong two cases. Number one, case number one, you only have one address, meaning, yung isang address na inonote mo, yun na rin ang default pickup and return address mo. And case number two, you have two addresses, meaning, you have a separate address as your default pickup and return address. 
Kumon nito sa may mga physical stores na, shops, or yung mga warehouse na. I suggest na at this point, nakaset na ang mga defaults. Hindi ito pwedeng palitan or i-edit kung kailan mo lang gusto kasi dumadaan pa siya sa approval ni Shopee each time. Next, bank accounts. Click on add bank account. Add mo lang ang bank account mo, yung mga basic information lang. You will be prompted to enter a 6-digit PIN as a security measure. Please write down para hindi mo makalimutan. Sa account settings, may other features. Chat settings, notification settings, privacy settings, locked users, language, at sa baba yung help center. Just go over the settings na lang po. So, step number 8 na tayo. Add your very first product. Ito po yung matrabahong part, pero ang good side is, once mo lang gagawin, at pwedeng mag-sync sa shop mo as long as you want, unless may kailangan kang i-edit or kailangan mo na siyang i-unlist kung out of stock na. Yung tip ko lang is, i-save mo na ahead ang mga photos ng mga products mo sa phone for faster uploading. Okay, to start, just click on the me or me button on your homepage. Click selling and then click add no product. Sa left side is yung screen when you upload your first product. Sa right is kung more than one product ang nasa list mo. Ito yung mga required information na kailangan mong i-fill in before you can submit your product listing. Una is yung product name. Dito mo itype ang basic details ng product mo. Examples, kung white yung soap ang benta mo, write triple A, kochi, plus glutathione soap, 90 grams. Or sa shirt, black cotton shirt for men. You may type a maximum number of 60 characters including spaces. Next is yung product description and hashtags. Dito nyo i-note lahat ng details about sa product nyo. Kung complete na ang details, the less chances na may mag-chat sa inyo para mag-inquire about the product. Example, about sa shirt kanina, ilagay mo lang ang brand, available sizes, color, designs, material used, round neck ba siya, v-neck ba siya, or pwede rin ilagay ang actual measurement ng item. Indicate mo rin kung ilang piraso ang kakasya lamang sa pouch ng courier. Ang size ng largest pouch ng mga courier is 30 by 45 centimeters with maximum capacity of 5 kilograms. Kung mag-exceed doon, kailangan ng makancel ng order kasi hindi siya pwedeng ship. Next are hashtags. Ito yung ilalagay mong keyword sa product mo once may buyer na mag-search sa app. Lalabas sa search result ang listing mo like hashtag shirt for men, hashtag black shirt, hashtag cotton shirt, or hashtag yung brand. Next naman, proceed tayo sa category. Piliin mo lang kung saan category appropriate ang product mo. Sa top most, may recommended si Shopee. Kung okay sa'yo, click mo lang siya. If not, browse mo lang ang mga nasa category list. Next is price. Ilagay mo lang ang selling price ng product mo. Yun yung product cost plus markup. Product cost includes the purchase price or kung magkano mo binili, yung pamasahe mo sa pagbili, gasto sa packaging like yung box, yung bubble wrap. Markup naman is yung tubo na gusto mo. Sunod is number of stocks available. Ilagay mo lang kung ilan yung uh, ilang stock meron kayo. Variations. Variations. Let's say sa t-shirt ulit. Add mo lang sa variation yung size followed by options ng mga available sizes like small, medium, large. Uh, same goes on with color design. Ganun din yung procedure. Uh, once may order from a buyer, malalaman mo kung ano exactly ang order niya. Like shirt, large size, color red. So, yun yung i-prepare mo for shipment. Next, weight of the product when packed. 
yun. Yun yung ilalagay mo sa weight. Sunod, condition. Either used or new. Pwede ka rin magbenta ng mga used or second hand items sa Shopee. Wholesale. Uh, optional ito in case lang na gusto mong magbigay ng discount for large purchases. Like if you sell soap bar. If your retail price is 100 pesos, you may write minimum 5, maximum 10. They can get the soap for 95 pesos each. Then kung 11 to 20 pieces naman for 90 pesos lang ang unit price. So, yun ang wholesale feature. Next is packaging size. Packaging size is optional pero if you wish, inote mo lang ang dimension ng product when packed the length, the width, and the height. Next na tayo sa shipping fee. As a new seller, wala ka pang COD and free shipping feature sa shop mo. So, what you need to do is enter the shipping information manually. Sa shop ko, may courier na. So, yun yung black arrow. Kaya, automatically enabled na siya. Ang gagawin mo is select your preferred courier sa list. Let's say LBC. Click LBC and then type in the corresponding shipping fee for the particular product and then click save. So, sa pre-order naman tayo, if you leave it unmarked, yan, nakaganyan lang siya. Once may order, you should ship out the order within 3 days. If you toggle the button to the right, the product will show up as pre-order. Uh, do this if your item is not on hand or for production siya or you need more time bago siya ma-ship. You can type minimum of 7 days as shipping period. Uh, sa ngayon, may bagong policy sa Shopee issued just this January 2019 na dapat 10% lang or maximum of 10% of your listings are pre-order as Shopee encourages sellers to ship out items the soonest. Di lang ako sure kung ano yung consequences if mag-exceed sa 10% ang pre-order items mo. Hmm. Hayan, complete na ang mga required details. Sa topmost part ng page, click Submit. Your product listing will be reviewed by Shopee. The result will either be live, meaning approved na siya at, at nakapost na siya sa Shopee, or suspended, meaning mayroong entry ka, like sa brand or category. Uh, kung suspended naman siya, you only have to correct the error and submit it again for approval. Once good na, pwede mo nang i-promote ang product listing at the same time ang shop mo sa mga social media accounts use, using the Shopee link. Okay, let's talk about COD and free shipping. COD or cash on delivery means once a buyer orders, magbabayad lang siya upon delivery ni courier. Free shipping naman, heto yung discount of 100 pesos sa shipping fee na pwedeng i-avail ni buyer for a minimum amount of purchase sa isang seller. Kung bago lang ang shop mo, wala ka pang COD and free shipping features sa shop mo. And you need to comply with the following requirements para maka-avail ka. Number one, yung na-mention ko sa inyong requirements sa address, you have to do it kasi dito magbe-base si Shopee. Kung may courier ba or anong courier ang pwedeng mag-provide ng cash on delivery service sa default pickup and return address mo. Number two, have at least 10 products on your shop. Number three, after seven working days from complying with step number one and two, contact Shopee and request for COD and free shipping para sa shop mo. Contact Shopee by calling their trunk line, by chatting using the app, or sending an email. So, number four, Wait for Shopee's evaluation status and once approved, you will be provided an integrated courier and instructions by Shopee. Enable mo lang yung courier's name sa shop mo and you need to edit all your existing products shipping details. Gamitin mo na ang courier na binigay sa iyo ni Shopee. You need not set up any shipping fee anymore. 
it will automatically be calculated on the app. Sa mga succeeding products na ipopost nyo, just use the same integrated courier. Take note, hindi po lahat ay ma-approve for, for COD and free shipping dahil may mga areas pa rin sa Pinas na hindi pa nasa-serve ng COD service ng mga partner couriers ni Shopee. Okay, dito na tayo sa happy part. You got your first sale. So, anong gagawin mo? Okay, once may ma-receive kong order, may notification kang mare-receive from Shopee. Please, basahin mo muna kasi yung dalawang senaryo yan. Una, when an order is placed with Shopee Wallet or COD as payment method, within 2 hours, may notification kang mare-receive from Shopee na nakalagay na please arrange shipping as mentioned dito sa, sa slide. Please arrange shipping for order number. From here, pwede nyo nang ipak and ready na for shipment ang order. Number two, when an order is placed with bank transfer or remittance center, chosen as payment method, maghintay mo nang inform ka ni Shopee na paid na si buyer and you may proceed in shipping the order. Huwag ship ang order unless instructed by Shopee. Once you get an order, ship out under two cases ulit tayo. Una, kung may seal ka na meron ka ng COD and free shipping service sa shop mo. At pangalawa, kung wala ka pang COD and free shipping. Arrange shipment. Dito muna tayo sa shipping with COD service. So, first step, click mo lang yung notification from Shopee na may nakalagay na please arrange shipment. At lalabas itong nasa left side ng screen. Click the orange button para button sa baba and you will find the one on the right side of the screen. Choose the date of pickup na prefer nyo and click request pickup. So, step number 10, packing and pickup. Number 1, Pack the order ahead. Secure nyo lang para safe habang in transit siya at makarating ang in good condition sa buyer. Gumamit ng bubble wrap or box kung kailangan. Make sure na ready siya on the scheduled date of pickup. Number 2. Wait for the rider to pick up the order. Make yourself or a representative available for the day. Wala pong exact time nang pagpunta ang rider. Please consider na marami ding pinupuntahang seller ang rider. Kaya walang assurance na always on the same time of the day ang punta sa punta ni rider sa address nyo. Number 3. Pagdating ng rider, bibigyan kanya ng pouch. Ipasok lang ang item sa loob ng pouch and then seal it. Put the way bill on the pouch. Either idikit kung sticker man siya or ilagay sa slip kung hindi naman siya sticker or paper lang siya. Dala ng rider both ang pouch at waybill upon pickup. Free of charge po ang mga ito. Kung marami ng order sa shop mo, pwede ka nang mag-request sa rider ng pouches in advance para pagdating ng rider, waybill na lang yung iayos. Yun. So, number four, give the package to the rider and get the copy of your waybill. I-file mo lang for your records. So, number five, yung last, Monitor the status of the order over the Shopee app. Punta lang sa mail sales, then shipping. Punta na tayo sa step number 11, order and delivery completion. Step number 1, hintayin ang notification from Shopee na delivered na ang order. Number 2, you may chat the buyer to receive the order on his or her Shopee app or maghintay na lang ng 3 days para ma-mark ang transaction as completed. So, done na tayo with the procedure of shipping with COD feature. Dito naman tayo sa second case. When you got your first sale bago pa magkaroon ng COD service sa shop mo. Ibig sabihin, isa kang pinagpalang nilalang. <laughs> Bihira lang mangyari ito kasi prefer pa rin ngayon ng mga buyers ang cash on delivery basis. Uh, so, heto ang mga steps to follow. Heto yung combination ng steps number 9, 10, and 11 ng my COD service. So, step number 1,
pack the item and ship the order using the courier service na nakaset sa product. Let's say kung LBC, kailangan mong pumunta mismo sa LBC branch para iship ang order and you have to pay the shipping fee. Number two, once ma-ship na, click the notification na sinen ni Shopee and update the status of the order to ship. Better kung indicate nyo na rin ang tracking number para din makita ni buyer. And last number three, chat and advise the buyer to click the receive button in line with the order once ma-receive niya. In that way, the order will be marked completed. Habang wala ka pang COD at may order sa shop mo, you have to do these manual procedures. Move na tayo sa step number 12 or yung last step, payment and encashment. When an order is completed, you will receive the notification from Shopee stating that an order is completed and your proceeds, let's say, uh, 100 pesos has been added to your Shopee wallet. Ang Shopee wallet ay parang ipunan mo ng funds from Shopee. You may transfer those funds to your bank account. Click mo lang ang Shopee wallet sa app. Click yung withdrawal. Uh, you may manually type the amount or just mark yung square na nakalagay na withdraw current balance of this amount. Then you will be prompted to enter the PIN na una mong ni-register, yung 6-digit PIN na una mong ni-register under your bank account and click confirm. I suggest na sa first completed sale pa lang, withdraw ka na ng funds para mo confirm mo if it will be credited sa bank account mo. Kung sakaling may problem, on the fund transfer, at least, madres mo na ng maaga yung issue. By the way, from the date of transfer, please wait for around 2 to 3 days bago pumasok sa bank account ng funds. Also, you may transfer funds from Shopee Wallet to your bank account once per week for free. So, hayan na po. Tapos na tayo sa whole process. At kung nadaanan mo na lahat ng steps, you are now a certified Shopee seller and earner. Kaya, congratulations! Okay. Disclosure. Wala pong babayaran na fee sa pag-register or sa pagbenta on Shopee. Kung ano ang selling price ng product mo, yun din ang amount na marireceive mo. Wala pong any deductions. Yun. Tapos na. So, sana ay nakatulong itong video na ito kahit kaunti. Sa ngayon, may hinahanda akong supporting videos about Shopee to be uploaded anytime soon. First is yung Shopee selling tips. And second is the question and answer or Q&A videos. Kung may mga suggestions sa tanong kayo about Shopee, write your comment down on the comment box para maisama ko on my next videos. Please click the subscribe button and the notification bell para ma-notify kayo agad every time na may newly uploaded videos ako. Please share this video para makatulong din sa mga kapwa Pinoy na gustong mag-start ng kanilang shop sa Shopee. So, thank you for watching, good luck sa ating lahat, and God bless.